Hey guys, I'm going to be posting another video on Sunday which will be a repaint but for this video I'm going to be doing another watercolor and gouache painting so I really hope you'll enjoy. So on my last two painting videos a couple of you have been asking me if watercolor is my favorite art medium and my first thought was no my favorite art medium would be colored pencils but then again it also depends on what I'm doing and what I'm drawing or painting and though I could have just left it at that for some reason in my head it turned into this whole my entire life depends on answering this question is or isn't it my favorite art medium and since this is a watercolor and gouache painting I figured I would use this video to kind of go through some of what to me are the pros and cons of watercolor and gouache my first pro is how easy it is to bring with you, even if we're just talking moving from your usual spot to the couch. The fact that you can have a palette, a container with some water, some tissue paper and then a couple of brushes and you're basically all set is amazing to me. Especially when comparing it to the other art mediums I use because let's say colored pencils as an example. Whether I'm using normal colored pencils or my watercolor pencils, I have two complete sets from Kanbash and Faber Castell of each one, meaning that I have 240 pencils. Then you're also going to need a pencil sharpener. If your pencil sharpener doesn't have a container to pick up the shavings, you'll need some container for that. You'll need some erasers and it just quickly ends up taking up so much more space and is so much more heavy to move around, which is a con for those supplies. And even if comparing it to something different like pastel, when using pastels, I usually will need my pan pastels for some of the larger surface areas. Then once again, I'm going to be needing my pastel pencils, which take up quite a lot of space as well. I'm going to be needing something to sharpen them with, something for the shavings, and then sometimes I might feel like using my normal pastel, which come in a stick form. So that also just takes up so much more space and supplies. On the same note, I love how you don't have to sharpen watercolors, which sounds strange, but the fact that you can usually have one or two brushes and that will allow you to do both larger areas fairly easily as well as fine details is amazing to me. So I really love that about watercolors. Something I don't like about watercolors, and I kind of touched on this in either my one inch Mona Lisa painting or my galaxy pizza, not sure which one, but it's the fact that I don't like the transparency of watercolors. And I know it's basically the point of watercolors and I know that is one of the things people really treasure, but as much as I love painting with them for my personal style and for the look I personally want to achieve, I pretty much all the time, especially if I'm trying to do something that is more or closer to photorealistic, feel the need to go over it to add that extra oomph with some colored pencils or pastels, something that is more opaque. It's just the look I prefer for my style. It doesn't mean I don't like the look of watercolors on their own. Someone else can paint something and I can appreciate and love how light and flowy it looks. But if I were to paint in that exact same style, I would be looking at it and think to myself, yeah, and now it's time to add some details and some depth. It's kind of hard to explain, but there's just something about the watercolors on their own that doesn't always make me happy. And this is also one of the reasons why I use gouache together with my watercolors, because that kind of adds that opaque element that I'm missing. But I also don't like gouache on its own because it lends itself, at least in my opinion, to a more illustrative look, which again, for a lot of things, is just not the look I'm going for. And in relation to that, one of the things I don't really enjoy painting with watercolors are things like human faces on a larger scale. And this is because of what I just mentioned. I just feel it's too transparent and it needs that extra opaque layer on top. So I might decide to use it as a base or to create some of the first layers and then go in on top using some other mediums. Taking it in another direction and 
I guess I have to mention that I haven't actually done that much with watercolor. This is, except for my airbrush, the medium that is the newest to me. <laughs> this painting is my fourth animal and it's actually the first one I finished. I did start one owl, which I never finished because I was forcing myself to only use watercolors, whereas I know I would have enjoyed that specific painting or drawing so much more if I had added some colored pencils. I started working on one snow leopard, which I might finish at some point, but in general, if I leave something for too long because I don't have the time to continue, I end up really just discarding it. And the third one was a lilac chested roller, I think they're called, a bird. I thought I had purchased the license to use that photo, turns out I hadn't, and I wasn't willing to pay $200 to actually have the license, so I just decided to not finish it. Either way, my point is that if we are talking something that is in a smaller scale, so once again, let's take a human face as an example, I think I might actually prefer watercolors to colored pencils because it's easier to get fine details using a tiny brush rather than a sharpened pencil. Obviously you can get great details with both, but I do feel like you can get smaller, more crisp details using the watercolors rather than the colored pencils. Something else about watercolors that I guess is usually treasured but I don't actually like are colors that granulate and have any kind of effect at all. Other than shimmery, I do like those. And I also tend to never really let the colors spread out on their own. I do keep it very controlled. Again, that is just my personal preference and my personal style. I might let it flow out a bit more for some backgrounds, but usually I never let the paint flow out and create any random effects that I'm not in control of. The last pro I want to mention is how you can use watercolor as a base and then use something like colored pencil as an example on top. And I love how even then you have two different options. You can either choose to use watercolor pencils on top, which will then be compatible with the watercolors. And so it'll kind of blend together and work together. And you can even go back over the watercolor pencils with watercolors. But then on the other hand, you can choose to use normal colored pencils on top and blend them out with a paint thinner or mineral spirit which then won't affect the watercolor layer. So if you've created something using the watercolors and you want to add some extra details, but you don't want to smear the watercolor layer, that is a great option. And so for any future reference, if any of you are wondering what my favorite art medium is, I'd say mixed medium because I like different mediums for different things. If I had to choose my favorite medium for drawing or painting animals, it would be pastel. Whereas if I'm drawing or painting a human, sure, I could go all grayscale and do it only using graphite and pencils, which is something I love as well. But if I were to paint a colored portrait of a human, I would probably choose to use a mixture of watercolor and colored pencils because I don't actually like filling out large areas like backgrounds using the pencils. And I also like just in general, even for the face where I might be using colored pencils to still have that watercolor layer as a base. So definitely the answer would be mixed medium. Some of you might be thinking then, what about acrylic or oil? And truth is, I just don't really enjoy painting with something that is that paint-like. I don't really enjoy the texture of the finished piece. I prefer something that looks very smooth. And I definitely don't have the patience for oils because as I mentioned previously, if something is laying around for too long and I don't finish it, I'll just discard it. So anything paint, paint is just not my thing. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This painting is available as a print in my Redbubble shop, just in case you're interested. The link is going to be in the info box and I'll see you in my next video on Sunday.